Welcome to my magic world where wishes can come true. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Wisharoo, and here's my best friend, Callie. I color, sketch, and paint. I'd like to try to paint the sky. Hey, I've got no complaint. You see, I'm Monkey B. I'm talented and cute. I play the grand piano, trumpet, saxophone, and flute. I'm Ranger Bob, you'll see. I name and plan each tree. Hey, and you can call me Bumpy. I'm the coolest skunk you'll see. Wisharoo Park, Wisharoo Park. Right here in Wisher Park. With Wisher Fish Hello. and Dan Dan and Della too. <laughs> what, what? And every night star silvery bright will send a wish for you. It's a special place to wish on stars and play from dawn till dark. So come, come along to Wisher Park. Oh, star silvery bright. I'm so excited about the fair tomorrow. The Star Silvery Bright Fair gives each of my park pals a chance to do something special in their own way. What's everyone planning to do? Well, I'm sure Callie is creating a lovely piece of art to show her special talent. And Monkey Bee is probably making up a special song on his piano. He really excels at music, you know. What about Pompey? Oh, you're right, Star Silvery Bright. I'm a little worried about Pompey, too. Pompey doesn't paint or play the piano, but he is very special, just the way he is. Every one of my park pals is special in his or her own wisherific way. I just hope Pompey knows he's special, too. If he discovered that, it would be a wish come true, and I bet we can help. Sure as flowers grow, something exciting's happening tomorrow, Burpee. That's right. Tomorrow is the Star Silvery Bright Fair. And it's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be... Hey, will you look at that? It's a mysterious footprint. Oh, you mean what's happening tomorrow? Uh, what? Hey, Pompadour is here. Greetings, Ranger Bob. Uh, hi, Pompey. So, uh, you guys getting ready for the fair tomorrow? Of course. The Star Silvery Bright Fair. Uh, where? <laughs> I think you've been spending too much time talking to the frog. <laughs> uh, just kidding there, Burpster. <laughs> the Star Silvery Bright Fair is where everyone gets to do something special. Right you are, Pompey. Yeah. Everyone but me, that is. Well, as sure as the sun shines, this is one mighty special footprint. Ooh. I think Wisharoo should see this. Yeah. Hey, Wisharoo, mm. come see the footprint on your front lawn. Oh, be right there, Ranger Bob. You know, all animals press their footprints into the ground, just like you and me. Yeah. It's a special signature, kind of like writing your name. Mm. And if we look closely, maybe we can tell what kind of animal passed our way. Let's see this footprint, Ranger Bob. Oh, it's right <gasps> over here. Oh, my. I've never seen a footprint quite like it. Me neither. It doesn't look like yours. No. Or Pompey's. Nope. Or anyone's. It's... it's... Mysterious? Well said, Pompey. Yeah. We must find out just whose footprint this is. Yes. My name is Monkey B. I swing from vine to vine. Some people say that in my way, I'm cultured and refined. I play my own piano, the sax and trumpet too. I'm here to entertain each and every one of you. Hey, Monkey B, that's me, Monkey B. Fanciful and free. Monkey B, that's me, Monkey B, Monkey B, that's me. I am the great Meister, I love to fool around. I take my chance with song and dance, my home is my playground. You know just where to find me, I'm free and flying high. I'm pound for pound and all around, special kind of guy. Monkey B, that's me, Monkey B, fanciful and free. Monkey B, that's me.
me monkey bee, monkey bee, that's me. Yeah. Hey, Pompadour is here. <laughs> oh, now there's a surprise. Monkey bee playing his piano. You like it, Pompey? Do you really? Because I was thinking I could sing my song for the Star Silvery Bright Fair tomorrow. Well, is that all you're gonna do? What's wrong with that? My song is my special talent. Yeah, but that's the same old song you always sing. Huh? Yeah, why don't you try doing something different for a change? Use your eyes. Use your ears. My eyes. My ears, yeah! Yeah. Is that what you mean? No, no, no. Look around, Monkey Meister. Uh, of course. You're right, Pompey. Hey, I know! How about this? Four score and seven bananas ago. da 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 da, -da. Hey! So, what do you think? It's hopeless. Oh, you're right, Pompey. It's all wrong. Well, maybe if I use my stilts and sing some opera, yeah. But, oh, no. oh yeah. man. Maybe if I wear this. Hey, Pompey, I, I think it... Uh, Pompey? Mm. Yeah, that's easy for the Tune Meister. He's got lots of stuff he can do. What am I gonna do for that dumb old fair tomorrow? <sighs> Flower, I want to compare your shoe with the mysterious footprint. But I can't right now, Wisheru. I'm right in the middle of my painting for the star silvery bright fair, oh. and it has to be picture perfect. It's a lovely painting, Callie, and I see you were careful not to use too much paint. <laughs> so, what's it supposed to be? Well, that's the problem, Wisheru. My painting has to be something really special to show off my talent. Oh, and I just can't make up my mind. Oh. Hmm. Might I suggest something blue? Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I have a masterpiece of an idea. How about if I make a paint footprint with my shoe? And you can compare that with your mysterious footprint. That's a wonderful <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just cover the sole of my shoe with these shades of blue paint, see? <gasps> oh, this one by the toe reminds me of a pretty blue sky. <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> there, <laughs> all finished. <laughs> there you go, Wisheru. It's a fine footprint, Callie, and you mix the perfect shades of blue. Oh. You are a very talented artist. <laughs> oh, thanks, Wisheru. Now, I'll go and see if this matches that mysterious footprint. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to tear my paintbrush hairs out. Oh, I wish I could think of something special enough to paint. <sighs> Hey, Bella! Huh? What, what? Who's there, Dan Dan? Juicy! Juicy who? <laughs> Juicy the footprint Wisheroo had? Huh? <laughs> Get it? No. <laughs> Juicy, did you see? Oh! No. <laughs> Monster, Pompadour is here. <laughs> huh. What's that supposed to be a painting of? The invisible park pal? <laughs> it's supposed to be something special, something perfect, something that shows off my talent. Hmm. So what's the big deal? If you want to paint something, go paint something. Huh? Wisheru Park's full of stuff to paint. Hey, what a brilliant idea. I'll paint something from the park. Come here, Pompey. Hey, 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 not on Come me, here. not on me. Keep it on the canvas there. Oh, what I need is 
is a perfectly pink idea. Something that'll be pretty as a picture. Hey, just use your eyes, Hoppa Mama. Use your ears. Hey, hey, hey. <gasps> That's it! You just gave me a perfect idea for a painting, Pompey. Huh? <laughs> oh, boy, now I've got it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Callie's doing that special painting. Monkey Bee's doing a special song. But what have I got that makes me special? Ah, oh, sheesh. I'm cute, I'm bright. My hair's just right. Does that make me special? I got the walk, the talk. I'm a chip off the old block. Why is that so special? Is it just a small dash of that thing called panache? Is it something that no one can see? Won't somebody please, please tell me why I'm special? Ugh. Hey, I'm tough. I'm cool. I'm nobody's fool. Does that make me special? I'm suave and debonair with a very distinctive air. Is that so special? Is it just that pizzazz that some people have? And where can I get some for me? Won't somebody please, please tell me why I'm special? <sighs> I wish somebody would explain what it is that makes me special. I just don't get it. <sighs> Let's see. It's not like Callie's or Monkey Bee's. Well, whoever made this footprint had to be someone very special, that's for sure. But who could it be? Hmm. Yo! Pompadour is here. So you are, Pompey, and just in time. I was just trying to figure out where this amazing footprint came from. Come on. <laughs> yeah, well, I was trying to figure out something too, Wisheru. See? Callie's making one of her pictures, and Monkey Bee's working on one of his songs, Yes! And... Isn't it exciting, all the special things our park pals are doing for the Star Silvery Bright Fair? Well, maybe not as exciting as you think, Wisheru. Whatever do you mean, Pompey? Wisheru, I wish I knew. What can I do for the fair tomorrow? A wish for you? Don't feel so blue. Ask a question and learn what to do. Hmm. I have something magical right here in my pouch that I think will help you. Yeah? Actually, I have a lot of magical things in here. Oh, here's the spoon I used to stir mm. the chicken soup when Monkey Bee had his cold. Hmm. And here's the jar of pickles Callie used Whoa. when she needed just the right color of Whoa. green to paint Burpee's lily pad. Oh. Well, I'm feeling fine, Wisheru. I certainly don't need a lily pad. <laughs> of course you don't, Pompey. You need help finding something you can do for the fair tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And to do that, you need to discover how special you are. Mm. You know, Pompey, when I was just a little kangaroo, I grew up in a family where no one was like me. They were very slow. Well, how slow were they, Wisheroo? They were so slow, they made snails look like track stars. <laughs> but I was very fast. It's just the way I am. And my family loved to take a lot of naps, too. How much did they love to take naps? They loved taking naps so much, they had to wake up at night just to go to sleep. <laughs> but I was never much of a napper. While they were napping, I would imagine I was a great inventor. Wow. Yes, and I would build wonderful things in my mind. Oh, yeah? Yes, but because I was so different, it made me worry I wasn't like everyone else. Well, that's silly, Wisheru. Everyone knows you're special. That's right, Pompey. I'm special for just being me. And my family was special just the way they were, too. Hmm. Now, here's something special for you, Pompey. Huh? A magic mirror. Oh. Take a look. I bet you'll discover someone wisherifically special. 
Uh, the magic must be broken with Sheru. All I see in there is me. Oh, come on, Pompey. Take a look at that special face of yours. I think it's trying to tell you something. Just look in the mirror. Tell me, who do you see? Huh? You've seen that face somewhere before. You wonder, who could it be? Yeah, that's me. It might be your next door neighbor. It could be your very best friend. Whoa. And each time you take a closer look, you start all over again. No one's quite like you. And you're not like anyone else. <laughs> no, you're not. I don't know, Wisheroo. So check out your reflection. Hey! There's so much you can do. You just might find you like that guy that's staring back at you. Whoa! Cause each of us is different. Oh yeah? There's no one quite the same. Uniquely individual. Let's do it over again. Yes! No one's quite like you. And you're not like anyone else. <laughs> No, you're not, Pompey. No. <laughs> I don't know, Wisheroo. I'm looking pretty deep in here, but I'm not really seeing anything that's all that special. Oh. <laughs> Pompey, I want you to know that you're very special to all of us. And I just know that you are going to discover how special you really are, too. So remember, Della, when I say quack quack, you say quack quack who? How come you always get to start? I want to say quack quack first. Okay, go ahead, say quack quack. Quack quack. Uh, aren't you going to say who's there? It's your job to say who's there. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. You said who's there. Now I say tank. Okay, tank who? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, <laughs> get it? <laughs> But at the fair, I want to start. Now, where'd you put the costume? Under your bed. <laughs> hey, monkey bee! Getting ready for the fair tomorrow? Yeah, I guess so. Actually, I was just sitting here thinking. About Pompey? Yeah. Hey, how did you know that? I could tell by the way you were playing. It sounds pretty sad. And because I was thinking about Pompey, too. Yeah? Well, I am a little worried. Because Pompey never says what he's feeling. Hmm. And right now, I think he's feeling kind of sad. I think you're right, Monkey Bee. I know I always feel banana fully better when I just say what I feel. I can tell. Hey, you know what? What? Sometimes I like to say what I'm feeling by painting. I can always express my feelings that way. I know what you mean, Callie. You do? Yeah, because I like to say what I'm feeling with my music. When I want to express myself, I just start playing, and the feelings come right out of me. There's a feeling I get. <laughs> It's hard to describe when I'm singing a song. I'm electrified. Yeah. Just me and my music, we're side by side. Yeah. It's what I do when I want to express myself. There's a feeling I get. <laughs> it comes from the heart. When I'm painting a blue sky, it's a work of art. <laughs> that feeling I get is the very best part. It's what I do when I want to express myself. Express yourself. Swinging and swaying, express yourself. Dancing and playing, express yourself. Day out and day in, it's what we do when we want to express ourselves. <laughs> yeah! Hey, I just got a perfectly popish idea for my painting for the Star Silvery Bright Fair. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, see you later! Hey, me too, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. The perfect song for the fair, yeah! Hello, Ranger Bob. Ranger Bob. Well, hello, Wisheroo. Hey, Pompey. So, what do we have here? Well, Burpee and I made a plaster cast of that mysterious footprint. Uh-huh. And sure as grass is green, I've come to the conclusion that... 
uh, burpees come to the conclusion that this footprint was not made by any known creature in the park. So what are you telling us, Ranger Bob? Well, each of us has a footprint that's not like anyone else's. It's a way we make our one-of-a-kind mark on the Earth. Yeah, yeah, that's all very nice, Ranger Bob, but what about me? Where's my mark? What am I going to do for the fair tomorrow? Oh, Fish, everyone's going to be at the Star Silvery Bright Fair tomorrow when I do my magic trick. So, when I say, watch me pull a wisher fish out of a wave, you pop up. Okay, wisher fish? Wisher fish? Wisher fish! Did you say something, Mermy? I couldn't hear you. I had water in my ears. Ugh. Hey, hey, hey! I heard yelling, so I thought maybe uh, you might need a little special skunkly assistance. <laughs> oh no, Wisherfish and I were just rehearsing for the fair. That's right. Oh. But I still can't decide. I could do swan dives, um, or maybe I could recreate the greatest story of all time, the little Merkid. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you gonna do, Pompey? Uh, me? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna do my, you know, pompadour thing, yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is. <clears throat> well, Pompey, that reminds me of a little story that was told to me by my great-grandfather, Weaselfish. So, if you'd care to give a listen. Yeah, well, I guess I got time for a story. Oh, me too! Well, let's see here. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Tuesday, there lived a young boy named David who loved to juggle. David would practice juggling with anything he could find. Rocks, socks, balls, you name it. And pretty soon he got pretty good at it. One day, word reached the village that the King of Tuesday was coming for a visit. So all the villagers got busy planning what they would bring for the king. They gathered gold and silver coins, beautiful jewels, fine woven silk cloth, and a feast fit for, well, a king. Well, the poor juggler boy didn't know what to do. Oh, no! He had no money, so he could not afford a fine gift to give the king. When the day arrived, the king of Tuesday rode into town in a grand carriage and sat on a great throne in the village square. All day long, the townspeople came bringing their gifts, and the king of Tuesday was delighted. David, the poor juggler boy, had nothing to give the king, so he decided to hide behind a tree until the king was gone. When evening came and the villagers had all but gone, only the juggler boy was left, still hiding behind the tree. Did the king see the boy? He did indeed, Mermy, at that very moment. What have you brought for the king of Tuesday? He commanded. David stepped forward, afraid. In his pockets, he felt the objects he had used for juggling. With his hands trembling, David started to juggle for the king. He juggled and juggled until he could juggle no more. Then David knelt before the king and said, My lord, I have nothing special to give to someone as great as you. Young juggler, the king said, what you have just done was the finest gift of all because it was a special gift that came from your heart. So, Pompey, did our little story help you realize what special thing you can do for the fair tomorrow? Hey, if I can't paint and I can't play the piano, I sure can not learn to juggle by tomorrow. But don't oh. you see, Pompey? You can do something special that comes from the inside. I don't think there is anything special inside me. I'm just me. And what's so special about that? Uh, hey, everybody, it's almost time. It's just about to start. Uh, what is it we're starting again? It's the Star Silvery Bright Fair, Ranger Meister. Uh, of course, the fair. Where everyone does something special? Special. Right you are, Pompey. Everyone except me, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, starfish and scallops, 
It's time to show what special creatures we all are. So, without further ado, here is our first special act. It's time for a little duckle fun. Hey, Bella. What, Dan Dan? Why do seagulls fly over the sea? Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. Get it? And now, Kelly Flower, our artist in residence, with something special. <laughs> Thanks, Bart Pals. Now, I wanted to do something that captures a very special part of Wisheroo Park, so I painted a painting. <laughs> and I am very talented, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm glad someone's talented around here. Oh, Poppy. And without this, Wisheroo Park just wouldn't be the same kind of place. Hey, old Flop Ears painted a picture of me. She thinks I'm special. See that, Pompey? I Whoa. told you so. Thank you, Kelly. And now, a musical number from the king of the keyboard, the vice president of the vines, the king of the swingers, here's Monkey B! Yay, hey, Park Pals! I got it, I got it, I got it! This little number's about a good friend of mine. He just likes to use his eyes and his ears. Huh? And he makes our park a special place. Hit it, Maestro! He's got all the moves, got that special touch. He's our very own part pal, Pompadour. Whoa! He won't let you down, never says too much. He's the one and only Pompadour. Hey! Now this skunk gets funky every once in a while. But you gotta admit, you really like his style. Hey. Tell me, who's this for? Pompey You can't ignore. Come on. Pompey He can make you smile. Yeah. He's understood. <laughs> He's the hey. one and only. He's Pompey That's right. Yeah. If you need a friend to pull you through, you can count on me. <laughs> Who's this for? Pompadour! Hey. Oh, we all adore Pompadour! Yay! 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 Oh, you, you mean I'm special just because I'm me? We love you just the way you are. And because you are the way you are, Pompey. Well, in that case, for my special act, I'm just gonna be me! <laughs> hey, thanks, Park Pals. <gasps> hey, everyone. I think we found the Park Pal who made that mysterious footprint. It's our very own Pompadour. <laughs> hey, like I was saying, I am one special dude. Hey. <laughs> it's a wish come true for all of you.